Good morning guys, welcome to the weekly vlog! My name's Adele, if you're new here, hello, welcome, I hope you stay till the end. And of course, if you're not new here and you're returning, you're an OG subscriber, thank you for coming back. I freaking love you guys, I love you all. It is miserable weather today and I'm always mindful when I say that because I know some areas of Victoria are having severe flooding already and losing their homes and I'm not at all complaining about the weather, I'm just setting the scene. It's very gloomy in Melbourne today, which is sad because we just came off the back of really sunny days and I like when it's sunny, but we're going to the gym and then we're going to have a shower, then we're going to have coffee with a friend and then we're doing the groceries in this rain. So now the vibe. All right, let me get ready for the gym. I'm just going to do a walk on the treadmill. This is what I'm wearing. I'll see you when I get back. I am ready, guys. I have my new Elite 11 hoodie on. I already have it in gray, but I have it in black now too, because if you love something, if I love something, you better get it in every color. I am heading off now and it's still Kissing down. I just had Sushi Hub. I'm about to do the groceries. I couldn't do it on an empty stomach. I had a beautiful morning, caught up with a friend, and now I'm doing the shop, which I'll take you with. So let's go. I'm at Coles. Groceries are done, and I got my first frozen char time. So good. Also got Kit Kat as a reward for completing the grocery shopping. Now to go home and unpack and edit. Here is our dinner tonight, guys. It's a roast pork belly. Yum. Veggies, salad, full sauce, which is there. This one is delish. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Just set the fire alarm off. Mum's made beautiful pork belly. Oh, look at that, guys. What drinks does everyone want? That was one thing I didn't put on the shopping list. Okay. Sprite. I have been editing the whole entire night. Edited the podcast. I'm halfway through the vodcast. My plan is tomorrow, wake up early, smash the vodcast, start on the vlog. <laughs> I've edited the weekly vlog on a Sunday before and gotten it up by 5 p.m., so I'm not too worried. But yeah, my plan for being organized this week out the window. I'll try again this week to get a bit better but yeah don't want to miss out on things and I'm just still adjusting but I've got little Franklin here and we're gonna jump into bed. He's already in bed. I'm gonna quickly do my skincare and head off to sleep because I'm wrecked. I will see you guys in the morning. I think we should go to the gym first just so I start the day on a high. <laughs> Good night. Good morning from me in my empty bed. <laughs> I'm about to get changed, go to the gym, put this stuff in the laundromat before I go to the gym, on the way home, chuck it in the dryer because it is piercing rain and it's actually freezing today. But I'm so happy I woke up at 6 a.m. I've been editing for two hours. I'm gonna stop and go to the gym now and then continue editing today. I feel not so bad about editing because it's raining. <laughs> I've noticed that I only get annoyed if it's nice weather. Anyway, let's get ready for the gym. I'm going for an Elite 11 set today because Elite 11 is the first sponsor of your safe space and I want to take a photo in the gym and say thank you to them. I didn't wash my sheets last week <laughs> so I'm doing it today and I'll wash my hair tonight even though I could probably get another day out of it. I just want to have fresh sheets, fresh hair. I'm putting on the hoodie that I had on yesterday. <sighs> Alright, let's go. How good is this? I've done a workout. I have one minute to spare. This is my washing machine. <laughs> How good. Straight in the dryer and then we're going to eat and edit. I'm feeling productive. It's only 9.22. See, I did have my timer on as well to keep track of when I need to be back here. That's usually what I do and no one has ever stolen my clothes or my sheets. <laughs> and it's just more efficient this way. Otherwise, I would have had to do the washing at home, it would have been loud and annoying while I'm trying to edit and it would have taken me way longer to wash all of that. I would have had to do two loads for all my sheets because this washing machine is bigger than a standard one that I've got at home. Everything is in the dryer, I'm just going to quickly eat and get in back onto the computer. Give Franklin all the strawberry toppings because 
He freaking loves it. And no, guys, I don't wash my fruit before I put it in the bowl. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the pesticides. <laughs> I don't have time to wash it. I'm being efficient. Okay. <laughs> Strawberry for you. Oh, my God. Gentle. <gasps> guys, it's 2 p.m. And I still don't have the vlog done. <laughs> but I'm up to Thursday. So I'm going to hustle. I've got to export it by 3 p.m. I can do it. Surely I can do it. Surely. Okay, so I managed to get the vlog up, but it's going to be late. It's not a 5 p.m. upload today. It's a 7 p.m. upload because it's taking so long to upload in YouTube and I don't know why. I put it in there at 10 past 3. It's been uploading for 40 minutes so far and it currently tells me that it has an hour and 33 minutes left. Anyway, I'm going to make this bed and have a shower, but um, part of me is like, go get a massage because it's... Four o'clock, right? So I could quickly go get a massage before dinner. I'm contemplating it. Should I do it? The vlog is definitely going to be late today, but that's okay. I'm going to quickly go get a massage, and then by the time I'm out, it should be loaded. I will try and chill. <laughs> you guys are the best. I posted on my story that it was going to be delayed, and five of you messaged me being like, it's okay, I know that you're stressing. Don't stress, we're happy to wait. And I just love you guys. I don't know why YouTube was doing that today. It usually doesn't take that long to load. But anyway, I'll be back after my massage. Here is what I look like before. I'll show you what I look like in a second because then I'll be nice and relaxed. Oh my God. I got creases on my face. Guys, I've got creases on my face. Just here. Time to wash this hair, make the bed. And hopefully the vlog is loaded. <laughs> Sunday night dinner. We've got the salmon pasta. Beautiful mum. And then we've got that garlic bread that we love. So good. I washed my hair. And I think that's another reason why I wanted to get a massage is because they used oil. And I usually don't like going when I have clean hair because it makes your hair oily. <laughs> and I thought I'll wash it today. So I'm glad that I went. Also, I've got to make the bed. I'm going to dry this hair. Even though I didn't do much, I just edited. I'm wrecked. And I realized I forgot to post the vlog to TikTok for yesterday. The bed is made. <laughs> Thank goodness. I think I might have to have a little snack after that as a reward. <laughs> I went past Woolies today when I was at the laundromat. And I got my favorite ones. They've been sold out every time. Mm. Mm. I love it. Would you like a mochi? Nah. <laughs> I like my taste buds as they are. The last fridge wasn't freezing stuff because you could just eat the mochi straight away. This one's actually frozen. Oh, can I ask you a question? Mm hmm. You can eat a mochi, right? Mm hmm. But you can't do hazelnut from the fridge. You don't like it. I don't like fridge chocolate. That doesn't make sense. But you like that emoji. Uh-huh. It's the best one. Hazelnut's the best one. You're not in the camera. No. <laughs> Any chilies other than that, I thought it hasn't it? <laughs> Cadbury, nothing but it. Apparently, this company is I think in the, in the UK or from another country and apparently they have so many more flavors and we only have three in Australia this is so good I love them all right alarm is set I have my retainer in and I am going to sleep good night guys I will see you in the morning I had the best sleep guys I don't know what it was the sheets my bed just felt like a cloud last night it was really good and I've woken up in a good mood. I've got to go to the gym and then when I'm home, I've got to take you to the vet. He's got something wrong with his ears. I'll show you. So on the edges, or like the edges, edges, like just here, he's got like this very strange like dryness. Can I please just have a look? He's not enjoying me doing that. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take you to the vet and we'll see what they say. And we'll also see if your nails are okay. I feel like I just got them cut like a few weeks ago. That day we went to Pet Barn. But they look so long. It's just hard when they're black. Thank you for the kiss. Thank you for the kiss.
I'm going for this active wear today because I am doing the content. It is from Ect. I don't think these are full length. I reckon they're like three quarter. Anyway, it's an all black moment, which I love. See, I love a bright set and heading into summer, I do probably lean towards bright sets as well, but I think all black is a, is a sleigh. What does the top look like? Ooh, she cute. I'm probably gonna take the padding out. I don't like the padding in my sports bras. I put this on and it, it reminds me of a Gymshark set I own. It's it's very firm, like it really holds you, <laughs> holds you in. I took out the padding because, as I said, it's not the vibe. This is the back of the bra, which I think is cute. It's doing things, like it holds you in in all the right places. I like. I didn't show you guys, but I did a squat proof test in the mirror, <laughs> just to double check. I almost forgot to do it. And I think it's because subconsciously I feel like activewear brands should not have non-squat proof leggings. <laughs> like it's 2022. There should be no reason that any brand out there is using shit enough material or thin enough material or any material that becomes, you know, compromised once the person starts to move. I don't think you can hear me, but the gym is pretty quiet this morning, which is good because I'm filming. <laughs> it passes the test. Very comfortable to work out in. I don't know how else to describe it, but it holds you in. And I feel fine without the padding. Had no issues with the butt. My workout is done. I did an upper body. Guess what? Today is renovation start date. I can't believe it. So we're gonna go past the house too and see what's happening so far. <laughs> I'm just in truckies and a tea today. It's a bit muggy. I am going to do my editing for the ECT stuff, send that to my manager right now. And then I also have to send off a concept for another brand deal and I'll reply to my YouTube comments. There was a comment that said that I talk through but I don't show you guys stuff and I guess when I was working full time, I could never really show you what I was working on just because of obviously my employer and the clients that I had and now there are still some things I can't show you, like the journal. I don't want to show anyone anything more right this second because <laughs> if I change it after I get the sample, people might be disappointed. I just don't want anyone to, I guess, attach too heavily to, to something like that before it's finalized. Obviously, once it's ready to go, I'm definitely going to show you. Or if the sample's good, I probably will show you. As for like sending off concepts, sending off content to get approved, I can't show you that because if it doesn't get approved or it's delayed, <laughs> that will look really bad and the brand don't want you to do that. If you guys remember the ad I did for SPC, it was the Vegemite and Baked Beans. I submitted that for approval about 12 weeks before I posted it. It took so long for it to be approved and be posted and I couldn't even show you guys the filming of that, the editing of that, the approval of that, but I am going to make more of an effort to show you what I can. But I appreciate your feedback, so thank you. I obviously want to make sure you guys get the best vlogs. I feel like I lied to Mr. Franklin because I put his lead on and he's just seen that we're at the vet. It's okay. I'm going to head in now for the appointment and I'll let you know how we go. I've got him in the passenger seat here, but $227 later, which is exactly why I have pet insurance because I will get most of that back and obviously he's priceless so I would do anything for him but the vet doesn't know if what's happening to his ears is topical or caused by the seasons changing because he does have skin issues I've told you guys that many many times before we're gonna try a supplement in his food fish oil and then we're also trying like a topical cream which will help the skin and we'll see how that goes we've got an appointment in two weeks so I'm hoping for it to work over the next two weeks if not it could be something else. She mentioned that it could be like a vascular issue, which the blood flowing to his ears, because it's symmetrical. That's why she's a bit unsure about it. But I love this vet that we go to. So yeah, fingers crossed that it's not super serious. <laughs> We're going to go past my house and I don't think anything has happened today. I think the sign's up, but I just want to show you that because I'm excited. So here is the signage, guys. These are the times that works will be carried out. This is my builder, Stan Built. You can give them a follow on Instagram as well. 
let's go inside. I've already showed you guys this many times before, but here is a before shot. And once the works start happening, I'll be able to show you what we've changed, but nothing has happened yet. Today is the first day. Leftovers for lunch today. I'm back home now. Little Franklin has not left my side. In the microwave for a minute and we're good. You okay? I love you. Put a bit more chili flakes. Running out, some cheese. I need to go check the PO box today. I feel like there's stuff in there. I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> I started eating it and I was like, it's so yum. Same process again. Chili flakes. Honestly, I could inhale that chili. Cheese, and I think I might just add that all in there. Is that too much? Is that too much? Yeah, it probably will be. I need to eat and then get back to work. I've got a lot to do. And that is all set, Adele. Okay, perfect. Michael, just bring that with me. I will, thank you. thank you. Bye. Okay, so I just booked in my ultrasound, which is not this Friday, but next Friday. I have to drink a liter of water because it's not a on top ultrasound, it's internal. I've had one of these before. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then I will probably just go for the blood test that morning. That way I can just get everything done at once. <gasps> and you know what else I have to do? It's my manager's last day tomorrow. I need to order her flowers. And I'll meet my new manager tomorrow as well. I forgot to do that. Okay. We also have to go to the PO box before the end of the day, but it's only 2.15 p.m. Look at this little one. He's exhausted after the vet. Has not left my side. Little angel. It is 4.30. I've had a pretty productive afternoon. My ECT content got approved and I'm trialing reels because when I met with Instagram, they basically told me that photos are dead <laughs> and that I should be posting reels. And I'm not really a reels person. I also think Instagram should stop trying to be like TikTok. And I freaking love TikTok. Like if I'm to like rank the social medias, the social medias, the platforms that I have, YouTube comes first. My podcast is like right underneath it. Then my TikTok is right underneath the podcast. And then way down here is my Instagram. <laughs> I love my Instagram for the AMAs and for the stories. And you'll see, since I've been to Instagram head office, I've fucking been doing reels. And so I posted the ECT video as a reel, which is not an ad. So lucky ECT. <laughs> but I do really like that fit and I thought it was good. And I like posting my workouts to Instagram because some of my Instagram followers don't have TikTok and don't watch my TikToks. So, you know, I'm just trialing some stuff, but now we're going to go to the post office. I'm really tired guys. I don't know why it's been a long day, but anyway, we're going to post the giveaway prize early this week because you know what I did last week? I posted it on Saturday and that winner was in New Zealand and I sent her caramello koalas and a whole heap of other stuff, but I forgot about it because I didn't put it on my to-do list and I cannot be forgetting about it. So I'm going today, which is Monday and I picked the winner yesterday. So I'm going to get it out of the way nice and early. And we're also going to Maybe get a Kit Kat. Guys, I got PR from McDonald's about McHappy Day. They sent me socks. This is not paid, by the way. I said yes to Maccas because you guys know I love Maccas and they're like my dream, one of my dream companies to work with. And they had an opportunity for a gifting, which is what this is, a gift of the socks. And I'm so happy. And it's a for a beautiful cause. It's about Make Happy Day, which is Saturday, 19th of November. These socks will be $5 and you can buy them from October 26, which is two days away from today. So by the time this vlog goes live, you could go and buy them. And they're $5 with all profits going to Ronald McDonald House Charities. Now, if you don't know what Ronald McDonald House Charities are, they're basically these houses they set up for families who have sick kids, whose kids are sick or injured and at the hospital, the family can stay at the house close to the hospital so that they're supported and just have that community and care. And I think it's really, really beautiful. And so $5, 100% of the profits will go to that charity and it just raises awareness for my happy day. And I think it's beautiful. And I'm so grateful that they sent me something. And then I did get a whole lot of other stuff, which I will unbox 
on my YouTube. Dinner is nearly ready. It's so weird with daylight savings and eating early. I will open that other stuff in a second. Oh, get this. Today I get a bank transfer into my personal bank account for some money. And I don't know the person's details. I don't know their banking account details. Like I cannot send it back. And so I tried to like block it and like, uh, like I held down the transaction to see what I could do. And then I emailed my bank. I messaged my bank because in the app it lets you talk to them. And I was like, this is a mistake. Like you need to get this money out of my account and get it back to that person because I'm freaking out. And so they're doing some tracing thing so we can get this person's money back because I think they made a mistake. No one should be transferring me money. I <laughs> The only people that pay me are my management company and YouTube and any kind of like commission links I have into that account. And this is not a account that that should be coming in. And so I need to get this person's money back and I'm really, really worried. What was I meant to do? There was something else I was forgetting. Anyway, <sighs> I'm still so happy about the Mac is PR. <laughs> Monday is the taco nights in our house. <laughs> Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Watch me find one. This is when it, when, what we say when a man has a has a look. What's no, that in no, your head? no, no. Listen. What's that in your head? What's that in your we head? We didn't put Sprite on the shopping lists. Oh, there was we one there. We didn't put there. special K on the shopping list. There was one there. Don't you start. Okay. As for the shopping list, I asked many times. Anyone else has anything extra on the list? This doesn't bother me. I can go and buy it tomorrow. Who drinks spice, right? Me. Yeah, well. I didn't realise I was at the last one. I've got Mr. Franklin here. I'm going to let him sleep with me just because after today, I feel like he deserves it. The vet is very traumatising for him and all day he did not leave my side. Like, he has clung to me like the clingiest he's ever been. So, he can sleep with me. I'm going to have a quick shower and then head to bed. It's quite late. I didn't ask me anything, and I love Mondays so much. All right, now it's bedtime. Say good night. See, we love you guys. I'm so cold today. It's Tuesday, so my mum has gone in the office, which means I don't have a car, which is fine. I'm going to Uber to the gym, and I've got an appointment at 1 p.m., which I can Uber to as well. I've got meetings this morning. I actually have back-to-back -back meetings. I've got a meeting with my manager because I'm meeting my new manager today. Her name is Emily. We've been texting. I texted her yesterday and I will meet her today. And then I've got another meeting after that for something else, which I can't tell you, but you just have to trust me that it's cool. <laughs> and then I've got an appointment at 1 p.m. I'm getting an eyelash lift, which I've been very curious about. I'm excited to see how I go with that. I hope I don't have an allergic reaction because my best friend had her eyelash lift done two weeks ago and she had a severe allergic reaction and it kind of scared me. <laughs> but I'm going to get ready for the gym. I really, really need to buy some shorts because it's starting to get so hot inside my gym. I, the gym I train at is like a warehouse <laughs> and the doors don't open until 8 a.m. And so if you go before then, it's fucking like a sweat session. It's like a sauna. I'm heading off. I'll be back in honestly an hour and 10 minutes. Okay, not, at all, not long at all. I always tell him how long I'll be. I love you. That was really sweaty. <laughs> really, really sweaty. But I got an Uber there and back. The Uber literally five minutes. It was too far to walk. It's about an hour walk, but it's a five minute drive. Having bircha, mum actually ate half of it. But I want to go back to Aldi because we got apples from Aldi when I first started making this good recipe. And the quality of the produce, not Aldi, Costco, the quality of the produce is so good. Oh, I love this so much. And I want to give that one to Franklin. And I'll have, oh. Well, Franklin, you can grab that one. I already put cinnamon in it last night. How good does that look? I'm in a tracky set. No makeup. I want to be comfy today. I'm going to log into the meeting. I can't wait to meet my new manager. Today's bittersweet. Like, I'm sad that Ali is leaving, but I'm excited to meet Emily. I just really bonded with Ali. And, like, it's weird because I've never had a manager before, but 
the dynamic was like we would text basically every day and she just grew to like really understand me and vice versa and we became really good friends so yeah a bit sad but i'm excited to meet the new manager and i will talk to you after i meet her so meeting my new manager went amazingly my new manager is a whole ass vibe i really like her and i feel like how lucky am I that I get to work with just these like beautiful people and build these beautiful relationships and obviously I'm allowed to be sad because I feel like I'm losing something that I really valued but I'm also excited so I'm just feeling all the feels but they were like open your packages that you got yesterday so let's open them together. Package number one is from Francesca. This is a gift this is not paid by the way. We've got this beautiful necklace look at that it's got a little sun on it but then we've also got some earrings. Look at these, little sun and moons. I would definitely be wearing those. This is from Ophia Skin. Guys, I actually met the owner, Patrice, at the David Bromley event. She was absolutely beautiful. This is her new brand. It's a skincare brand and she sent me this. So thank you, Patrice. I'm excited. And that's it for the unboxings for now. Hey, Mr. Frank, mommy has another meeting in five minutes. Okay, better not move anywhere. I'm waiting for my Uber. Hopefully I'm not late. So Lauren is doing my lash lift. She's actually one of my high school friends and I haven't seen her in a little while. So I've prepared a little goodie bag for her. In here I've put some body moisturizer, a face cream, some pimple patches, a little journal. I wanted to say thank you. Uh, and I haven't seen her in a little while. So hopefully that makes her day. And I will take you with me to the appointment. Carla's driving me because it was taking me too long with the Uber. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm at my friend Lauren's Vaccaro Beauty and look what she's done to my eyelashes. This is this is her. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> she's one of my school friends. <laughs> All the way from high school. I know. And she did a lash lift and tint. That and is this so is my natural eyelashes. They look so good. I'm shook. <laughs> I love them. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> she's told me that I can't get them wet. So no... <laughs> sweat or water for the next 24 hours and that also means no crying so hopefully i don't cry between now and then <laughs> but i can't believe look look at this eyelash here i've wanted to do a lash lift for a little while i used to get lash extensions back in the day and then i stopped getting them when i moved to sydney i have very long natural lashes and i thought it would look good and it does and i'm so happy and now i'm home with little frank it's currently 2.30 p.m. and I'm starving and I'm making stir fry for dinner but I think I should have a little snack. I think that's the plan. Okay, wow, I feel like today has been a lot of deliveries but guys, look what came. These mugs from Clay by Talia. I'll link her Instagram in the notes. She handmade these little mugs. I got the ones with hearts on them and I found her through my podcast Facebook group and I just think they're so cute and Talia, I don't know if you watch my YouTube but she freaking sent me Kit Kats. And I didn't have a Kit Kat today, so I'm going to eat both of these right now. <laughs> Look who's home. I'm doing my time sheet. Okay. Don't interrupt me. All right. How good does my stir fry look, guys? I'm very impressed with myself. Came out very lovely. Oh. And none of these two are in a hurry to eat. They're too busy washing up. I've just been scrolling Pinterest all night and saving boards. <laughs> I have only really just gotten into Pinterest as of late. I've had a shower. I had the quickest shower of my life because you can't get the eyelashes wet and it's annoying because I couldn't wash my face. And so I did a peel, I did a Dennis Gross peel and I feel a bit, feel a bit better, but I still feel a bit gross because I haven't properly washed my face. I can do that after 24 hours. I have to say, I'm seriously loving the lashes. <laughs> the other update is tomorrow I have a therapy appointment. I can't wait to see her. There's so much I need to tell her. And then I have a second date on Thursday night. He was away last week and I couldn't see him, obviously. And the week before, I was a little bit busy. And so I'm going to see him Thursday, which is good because I go to Sydney on Saturday. And I was a bit worried because at this point I'm like, I need to see you. Otherwise, I'm going to get over it. <laughs> Cause he's kind of like a pen pal like loves a chat and i like a chat too don't get me wrong but i guess i would like rather like get to know him in person build a connection in person but also he's been so busy and i am also 
so busy. But yeah, Thursday it is, which I'm looking forward to very much so. My little crusty ear boy. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I just woke up. No gym today, but I am going to film a at-home workout. It's for a brand deal and I'm excited, but I'm about to feed Franklin his breakfast. I'm using this bowl again because it makes it harder for him and we're going to give him his medicine. So he needs two pumps of this in the food, which is just like an oil. I just do, I do about three just because the first squeeze doesn't really work. While I give him the food, I put on this cream on his ears. And he lets me do it. It's actually so cute. I'll show you. Good boy. Very good boy. And I've been using this bowl because it gives me a bit more time. <laughs> I feel bad for him, but I've got to get all the dry spots. I'm using my mug for the first time. And it's making me so happy. I love eating out of really nice spoons or like a nice bowl same for like cups and mugs because i just think it makes it more special and i just feel yeah cute all right time to film this content and then we're going to get ready for the day so mum and i just did an at-home workout how was it mum yeah it was good i'm still shaking <laughs> like my whole body it was, was just awesome. a yoga but like i guess an active one it was nice was. Little Franklin was harassing us the entire time. <laughs> I won't tell you any more detail until you see the content, but it's actually super cool and the app is really cool. So it was good. I'm Thank excited. You. And now I think I'm going to walk Franklin. Do you want to go for a walk? <gasps> you want to go for a walk? Let's go. Walk was a very brief one because it started raining and I was like, I can't get my fucking eyelashes wet. <laughs> so we ran home and I'm trying to cover my eyes. I just had brekkie. And now I am going to just log on and start work. I did just go to therapy, which was a vibe, if I do say so myself. And I uploaded, well, I posted, I gave the content to my manager for the ad that I filmed this morning with mum. And I get some food, have a shower. I can get my face wet now. It's been 24 hours, I believe. I feel so gross not having washed my face probably last night. <laughs> And then I need to plan the podcast episode, which I haven't started, but I know in my brain what I'm going to talk about. I was going to order sushi, but I've got stir fry in the uh, fridge from last night. So I'm going to have that and film a therapy video for my YouTube account because I'm going to put the vlog up later this week on the Monday. And so I want you to have a nice video in between. Okay, so I've just filmed a therapy video, which I loved. And I need to give you guys an update on the splint because after last week's dentist appointment, I was feeling a little bit frustrated because the dentist had said to me that if he was going to give me any kind of splint, he would have given me an upper one. But he also didn't believe that I had ongoing grinding issues. He thinks I may have been grinding during that period from like May to August when I was super stressed, which is like very, very common for people to do while they're asleep, especially if they're feeling quite stressed. Anyway, I went back to my old dentist and I said, look, this is the situation. I'm a little bit frustrated because I've paid $700 for something that I don't think I really needed i said maybe the grinding may have been like a small concern for a short period of time however i've gotten a second opinion i should have got this second opinion before i actually paid the amount and got this bottom retainer from you guys or this bottom splint and they were like you need we need a letter from your new dentist basically and so they just sent me the letter and this is what they said to whom it may concern my client adele blah 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 presented on the 21st of october with issues regarding her occlusal splint Adele complained of discomfort with the splint and that it causes her to gag. <laughs> Upon inspection of the splint, it was observed that the lower splint was very thick. <laughs> Moreover, there was little wear on her existing teeth, as well as no complaint of TMJ pain. Adele also brought her upper and lower retainers. These retainers are more than three years old. However, upon inspections, they did not show obvious signs of wear and tear. I have suggested that Miss Adele discontinue the use of the occlusal splint you provided and continue wearing her retainers as these will prevent any unwanted teeth movement. And so I'm going to send this to my dentist and she's saying that they want to give me an upper one. And I'm just like, I don't think I want that. And now I'm like, then it was the people pleaser in me because I remember that day I went in for a checkup. I think I went in for a clean and he's like, oh, your canine teeth is blunt. 
this one here and this one here but the thing is I've had those teeth like that for ages even before I got my like current retainers I think it goes back to when I had braces and I used to have a metal plate up here and that completely changed the structure of my mouth and I think that because of that I did used to grind here but like recently I don't think I've been grinding that much and then I think even just having a retainer has made me like clench a little bit you know but I have never cracked that retainer I don't have like teeth mark on that retainer which should have been my first warning sign and that old dentist should have checked that anyway my advice is always get a second opinion especially when it comes to your teeth it is 6 15 I've just been planning the podcast episode I'm about halfway through it so I'll finish that after dinner but mum just called and she said dinner's ready so I'm gonna take my glass out of my room otherwise it will fucking stay in here forever we have some green of course we do we love our greens I always like to get some stems some tree leaves look at this delish the finished look the finished look the finished meal and we also have some salad on the table everyone's <coughs> eating little Carla's got a veggie plate hello Carla Hello, everybody. Hello. Bon appetit. Hi. I have to have Coke Zero because I don't have any Sprite. You do. Oh, wait, I didn't put it in the fridge. <laughs> Damn, I forgot that I went to the shop. <laughs> Hi. I can't. You already had your dinner. You just ate. Look at him. You just ate. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited. I just inquired at a different podcast studio, guys. <laughs> Look at me. I'm meant to be planning the episode. But I came across this podcast studio that could be better quality and could help me out a little bit more. It would cost more money to hire, but they could help with the audio editing. They could help with the video editing. And you guys would know I spend a lot of time editing and I don't want to outsource it necessarily. But I feel like at the moment, my current setup is a little bit clunky. If I want the content to be better, if I want to have more time to create more episodes or better YouTube videos or better TikToks, I need to save time where I can. So I'm very excited about this, but the podcast episode tomorrow is going to be so good. I'm so excited to do it. <laughs> and what else? Oh, I've got to make birch muesli because I forgot and it's 9.30. I feel like last night and tonight are the same. <laughs> but good night, guys. I will see you in the morning. My little hair net, which I'll put on. Tomorrow is date day. I'm excited about that. But the other thing I wanted to mention is someone commented on my I got a few comments on the last YouTube video, the last vlog about my period situation. I obviously want to share that stuff with you guys because I can't hide how I'm feeling. And I know that the pill gets a really bad rap, but I wasn't asking for medical advice. And there was a comment about how like come off the pill completely. But like for me, the pill actually helps me. And obviously I'm going to keep you updated and in the loop, but I will also never come on here and like give you health advice either. Okay. So if you have things going on, please chat to your doctor. This is not a platform for medical advice both ways. I won't give it to you. I don't want you to give it to me either. I just share it because it's part of my life and I share my life. But I just want to mention that because I didn't re I realized I didn't mention it earlier. Anyway, this girl has to sleep. My hair is so gross. Franklin's already asleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Rise and shine. I feel like this week has gone quick. So quick, actually. Also, I have not been smart and done this washing. I will do it when I get home. It's funny because now I feel like I'm actually really proper getting my period because now I've got the cramps to go with the sore boobs <laughs> and the PMS. Fuck you, ovaries. <laughs> Red, let's go to the gym. That was the worst gym session I've had in a long time. Everything was very, very hard. Do you mind if I have a skinny long spoon? No, why? I just, because yeah, it's really cold, I just prefer to have like a little spoon, but the one. Sure. And, um, just a piece of paper towel. So I won't give you a cute spoon. Thanks. I don't ask for too much. No, that's fine. This is Mum's. She likes a lot of cinnamon. 
There you go. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. I didn't wash my hair. I'm going to wash it later because my plan is go to record the podcast. Well, first the pair box, record the podcast, and I'm going to get my eyebrows done. And I'm going to have to wash my hair and do my makeup again anyway. So I just did like slap on makeup today. My hair's not looking that great, but I do have a cute Elite 11 fit on. And yeah, I'm excited for the date, but I'm incredibly nervous. I can hate that it makes me so nervous. Anyway. We shall carry on. I'm a bit nervous today because I have a new microphone and I'm scared because I talk with my hands and now it's not attached to my head. I'm worried that I'm going to knock this. But I'm excited because apparently the quality is better and I really care about the quality of the podcast. So this makes me happy and I'm excited to bring you guys the vodcast. So I'm going to jump into the vodcast and then after this we're going to get some food and we're going to go get our eyebrows done. I feel more professional with this microphone. Why is that? Look what I got for lunch, fish bowl, my favorite. Well, actually, do I like Pecaro or fish bowl better? I think I like Pecaro better, but this is still good. I'm always so hungry after a podcast episode. I don't know what it is. I would love to know. Maybe it's because I'm mentally exerting myself. I definitely think Pecaro is better. But it still slaps. I'm also treating myself now to my eyebrow appointment. Usually I would do my brows myself because it's more affordable. However, I let them go for too long and I'm just going to get the professionals to fix it up. I go to Shea P. It's not too far. It's 15 minutes from my podcast studio. So that's why I can justify it. I'm already out. And these are my before. They're filled in and I've got concealer. So you can't really see where the hair is. But I'll show you the after in one moment. Brows are nice and fresh. Time to drive home and wash this hair now. Let's go. So weather is bugged, traffic is bugged, and he just canceled our date tonight. And to be honest, I appreciate the early notice. I mean, it is 4 p.m. Cause I was gonna go home, start getting ready. And obviously now I can just like relax a little bit. I am a tiny bit disappointed cause I was looking forward to it so much. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just a little bit annoyed. I think I'm allowed to be annoyed, but I feel also that you can give people grace and for whatever reason he is super busy. I know that he was away and he just got back and I understand when you travel for work or when you travel for things, things pile up and then it takes you a little while to get back on track. So, but yeah, no second date guys. No second date. Bedtime for us. I've just been finalizing all the podcast stuff for the end of the year trying to plan out when I can pre-record some episodes because the studio will close over Christmas and New Year's and I also want to take a break from editing so I'm going to have to pre-record some stuff so that episodes can still go live on the holidays for you guys but I feel a bit better knowing what I've planned out and I am <laughs> I am a little bit disappointed about tonight I just think I was so excited and I guess dating just sucks sometimes that's that. I also think what's frustrating is there hasn't really been like any effort to reschedule it. And I'm going to say whenever I have canceled a date in the past, even with that other date that I canceled, I said, I've got really bad asthma. I'm not feeling that great tonight. Can we please reschedule for another time? Let me know when you're free. Like I said it all in the same message and I don't know. I just appreciate that level of communication, but I can't say that I am surprised because, and I'll tell you guys, this particular person was DMing me on Instagram and I gave him my phone number and then this was before we even had our first date and then on our first date I had said like you haven't even texted me and I understand that some people might not want to give their numbers to strangers but for me my Instagram is somewhere where anyone can send me a DM or anyone has access to me and my closest friends have my personal phone number my closest family have my phone number so if I give you that phone number it's because one, I trust you and I want you in that like inner circle. And I said that and I said, you know, for me, social media is my job and sometimes I get really overwhelmed with the amount of DMs I get or the amount of comments or messages or things like that. And sometimes it's just easier for me not to even go into the app. And sometimes it's easier just for me to check my inbox, like my text inbox. And he explained that he uses his phone for work and he prefers DMs. And I'm like, okay. And so that was like a first red flag for me because that was, I was trying to make a bid for a need that I had and that need was I needed him just to text me instead 
and I'm gonna argue as well. I don't think that's asking too much. I think that's bare fucking minimum if I'm honest. And that was kind of like first red flag. And then there've been some other things, but I chatted through it with my therapist this week, and we agreed that I was maybe overreacting and being a little bit not overreacting with that need, but overthinking certain things and maybe stressing about stuff that I shouldn't be stressing about yet and she more or less said go enjoy yourself you really liked the first date despite that there are still things that you enjoyed allow yourself to enjoy and have fun dating because you need it and can't wait to tell her that he cancelled <laughs> that he cancelled and then initially didn't even apologize he ended up saying sorry twice afterwards but in that first message he didn't say sorry I was like Oh good, no stress. Took it on the chin, cause you know, I'm gonna give him grace, but yeah, I just feel sad. And this is what I mean. This is what I mean. This is what I mean when I cry, you know, after the wedding, when I say it's so far out of reach. I just don't seem to have the best run. And it's weird because I'll have these men or these boys in my DMs saying that they're gonna do or be this amazing thing or acting like they're interested and then they get my number, they have my number and they fumble the fucking bag. <laughs> I just can't. I just cannot. Anyway, you know what they say? Better to know sooner than later. No more wasted time. Onwards and upwards. I'll be fine in the morning. I also definitely think my period is any moment now. The real one, not the one I had last week. The real, the, the, not the real one, because it's, is it real? Because I'm on the pill, probably not. I'm talking about like the heavy proper one, not the spotting in between one. All right, I'm fucking rambling. <sighs> Good night. Good morning, 6.30 a.m. We're not wasting any time today. Happy last day of the vlog. My coffee tastes better in this mug. I'm gonna head to the gym, come home, have a quick shower. We're gonna go shopping. I don't know what to wear tomorrow night and I think I need an outfit. Not the best thing for me to do because I could re-wear something, but I don't know. I'm just worried because it's it's like a VIP event. You know, it's giving me pressure. But I did sell my blue dress on Depop, the one I wore to the Chemist Warehouse David Bromley event. I've got to post that off today as well. I put the green dress on there and I might put the Princess Polly dress that I wore to Fashion Week on there too today. That's what I'm going to do. But first, let's go to the gym. I'm very excited to go to Sydney tomorrow because the weather looks nice there for the time that I'm there. Just got the workout done. Honestly, the couple days before I get my period, everything feels really heavy and the gym does not feel fun. Like it doesn't bring me joy like it usually does. We gotta go past Coles because my parents are also going away so I won't have a car oh, from tomorrow. So I wanna make sure I can stock up with whatever I need in the fridge. Now I remember why I don't buy Chobani yogurt and why I moved to Yopro because I just went to buy my Chobani yogurt for my birch and muesli and they don't have it anymore in stock. Anyway, look at this cute bag from Coles. It's got dash hounds on it. <laughs> I had to get some deodorant, some oats. I really am upset about this yogurt now. I'm gonna try. The Woolworths. I'm definitely getting my period. Why do I want to cry about yogurt? <laughs> See what I mean? Had to buy this one. Pine lime. I hope it's good. I bought four. Damn, that apple and cinnamon one was nice. Fuck you, Chobani. I know that's so unreasonable. I know I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> I just had um, the last bircher with the yogurt that I like. Anyway, I'm going to quickly edit this YouTube video. Then I'm going to shower. Then I'm going to go to Northlands and I'll come back and edit the podcast. They haven't sent me the file yet. Also, I look so scraggly today, but I do not give a shit. All right, I'm showered, I'm changed. I've got the purple tracky set on because I wanted something comfy today. I have edited my mental health therapy chat YouTube video, which is getting uploaded right now. That will go live tonight. I'm gonna now quickly head out to Northland, hopefully find a cute fit for tomorrow, and I'll take you with us, let's go. If you know, you know. All right, let's go quickly find a fit, guys. Okay, I'm impressed with myself. Of course, I went to Chic. I picked out the cutest outfit. I'll quickly do a little show and tell. That's what color it is. It looks nice on and I think it would be good for the event. I went to Mecca. I also got a much plumper skin. I love this and I just needed it. I love go-to skincare. And then I did already put a haul up on TikTok, but I bought Franklin and I matching pajamas. The green Christmas ones. And yes, I just spent a little bit of money there, but I 
had to get them for him. And then I had to get them for myself because I was like, I have to match him. I can't just have him in the pajamas. I need to have the pajamas too. Let's head home now. Well, actually, I've got to go past the video box, but let's head home and continue editing. I booked in for a pedicure later as well because I've had my toe, current toes on since the wedding and they're a bit grown out. And I got white and I'm going to get white again. I'm a white toenail girl now. Guys, look at him in his pajamas. <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> I'm currently just driving to my petty appointment. It's 3.30 now. I was honestly not having the best day until I saw Franklin in those pajamas. I want to do like a professional Christmas shoot for us and I just think it would be super cute. They had 3.45 or they had 8 p.m. And I just want to, once this is done, want to stay home and edit and have dinner and whatnot. So it should take about 45 minutes. It's not that long to get the shellac done because you're not sitting there waiting for it to freaking dry. Guys, we got Japanese. What we got from the mukbang that time. Yum. These are so good. Is there soups in there? Yep. We've got little misos. That was actually everything. Uh, yeah, told you. Nice. I was really, really craving this. Good night, guys. Franklin and I are about to head off to sleep. I'm so proud of myself. I edited the podcast. I've just got to do the video part, but I'll do that in the morning. I inquired with this podcast studio about the editing of my podcast and the producing. I just need some help, right? And they freaking quoted me $700 to edit 60 minutes. $700. With the amount of editing I do, I could start editing for other people as a fucking side hustle if that's how much it costs. <laughs> I'm shook. Anyway, I guess for the time being, I will continue to produce and do everything by myself which is fine i was just hoping that maybe there was a more affordable option i mean i would have been willing to pay i don't expect people to do it for free but 700 dollars just seems a bit excessive that's 700 dollars an episode plus you then have to pay for the studio and then you have to pay for their camera which this camera doesn't really do the vodcast that well but anyway things for me to consider franklin has just finally put his head down i go to sydney tomorrow I've not packed one thing. My flight is late though. But I'm going to wake up early, go to the gym, edit this video for the podcast, the podcast, pack my bag and drive to the airport. I'll get someone to drive me there. I edited back the podcast and in it I was like talking about how my highlight of the week was my second date. I make myself sick. Bless you. I'm not feeling too down about it to be honest. I'm all for people showing their true colours early. It is a big day tomorrow, so we're going to head to bed. I will see you guys in the next YouTube video, which I would love to know. Leave me a comment. What do you want the next YouTube video to be? I was thinking it could be like a take yourself on a date again. Maybe we could do something like going to a cafe. Or I was thinking an updated tattoo video. Or I was thinking maybe like a day in the life of a content creator. I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I don't know. I'm open to what you guys... Oh, maybe we can do a reno update. Because stuff happened today, but I didn't have time to go there. And I'm going to be in Sydney for the next two days. Maybe we can do a reno update. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Okay, love you so much. Bye. Thank you for having my back as always. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for letting me do this as a job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you so much. You guys are the best. Bye.